with our refresher course on how to adult. Uh, and this morning, we're jumping into the job market. This is important, specifically for people just starting out in their career. So here with a look at the current climate and advice on how to stand. Before we get into your advice, give us a snapshot now. Some companies are taking their, their, their experience. Folks who might be new to the job market, got a lot of college graduates yeah. right now, might be looking for jobs. What are the hottest jobs? What are the hottest industries? So bring people and bring them in oh, the are starting to bring people. So we, remote jobs, flexibility. Mm -hmm. Flexibility around when they work, what kind of work they're doing uh, they want a job that fits with their lifestyle the tight labor market companies mm. are if you are still learning how to how to manage people yeah. through an entire career when they're not in the office yeah. I feel like entry-level positions are difficult from the applicants point of view because you don't really have the experience going into it how do you sell your, your hand and saying I'm willing to do anything still count absolutely and in fact the best started on that mm -hmm. path which means raising your hand yes, and saying yes hire me. Well, at least yeah. the market's open yes. Dan Roth thank you as thank always. you Solid. Always great tips always yeah. coming up next it's Dad's Got This. LGBTQ plus representation in sports has increased in recent years. It's still hard to find openly gay players on professional rosters. Independent Baseball League player Brian Ruby is hoping to change that. And his father, John, has been there to support him at every turn. Testament to good parenting. Uh, by the way, there's a forthcoming feature-length documentary. It's called Coming Home. It follows Brian's baseball and country music careers, and that's slated to be released next year. Also, you can find today all day. All Isn't right. cool? Yeah. Hey, coming up next, we're going to show you some TV legend who really grew up on screen. I can't tell you, I wanted to be you like all of Netflix's The Upshaws, a working class Indiana family that includes her husband, played by Mike Epps, and her sister, portrayed by Wanda Sykes. <laughs> they love hard, they fight hard, and they make us laugh really hard. Yes. Check it out. <laughs> Good morning. In a sense, it's what was sitcom mm -hmm. that that take that just makes us feel good. Yeah, um, because it's 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 really there, and they work so hard and mm -hmm. tirelessly mm -hmm. to make it funny, to make it pop. That's a lot of what we are trying to figure out mm -hmm. on the Upshaws. Everyone so, is, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it's very very relevant. Beyond the acting, you're also a seasoned TV director. Makes for well, we want to. We're here. Right. Yeah, right. we want to do more than our TV roles, mm -hmm. or we want to yeah. do more day night. <laughs> Oh my God! It never even occurred to me. Oh, that's where he should have said, "Do you want to come to the right? art show?" Exactly, right. exactly. Hey, that's hey, funny. So, Kim, it, back in December, there was a, a live TV special. You know, they read yes. facts of life. Ga mm -hmm. Gabrielle Union played played you. Oh, that's and, right. And, and when you saw that, has there ever been any thought about where you know, maybe doing a remake of where the girls from Facts of Life oh, are? You know, oh. there's there's always talk about doing reboots because yeah. if you don't get it right, you mess up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Kimberly, always great to that see you. Show. And to remind you of that new show, season two of The Upshaws, premiering tomorrow on Netflix. Thank you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Up next in today.